Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the Sports Fan Base Network as we continue and kick off our coverage of the Flyers Cup. This game from Westchester, Pennsylvania at Ice Lion Arena between the 5 and 12 seed. The 5 seed is going to be Avon Grove in this game and they'll be facing off the Patriots from Central Bucks High School East. It's all coming up next on the Sports Fan Base Network. Josh Safran taking you along through the action today. We'll be right back on SFBN. Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the Sports Fan Base Network. If you're a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAYEASY. Haddon Planning Group is an independent financial advisory firm serving all Flyers fans across the country. Located in Pennsylvania since 1981, we will offer a free financial plan to all parents of student athletes participating in the Flyers Cup. For more information about our services, go to HaddonPlanning.com or call Jake Reardon at 856-428-5300. Your surprisingly great rates? Contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Eldion Pagulary in Feasterville, Trevose today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.
Well, it is that time of year again, hockey fans. The Flyers Cup is back in action, and what a way to kick it off the 5-12 game here in round number one. And while I wouldn't call myself a Flyers Cup liaison, so to speak, I have watched a good amount of tournaments in my day, and I know enough to know a 5-12 matchup is very dangerous, and I know I'm crossing sports here, but it is March. Avon Grove comes into this game as the five seed. I'm trying to see the number here as they already have their netminder set. And it looks like they've got Justin Mackley in goal for Avon Grove. And I'll get you the CBS goalie once they make their way out. It looks like it's gonna be Matt Mangiacapre. Or excuse me, Man Mangiacapre. And to the Mangiacapre family watching at home, you can Get mad at me in the comments if you like. My apologies. I don't get a uh, pronunciation sheet, but that is besides the point. Pronunciations aside, we have hockey here in Westchester. Josh Saffron on the call once again. Five versus 12 seed. Avon Grove the favorite as a five. CB East coming to this one as a 12 seed. So we'll see how these teams establish themselves here right off the opening faceoff. A win for Avon Grove. Always a bit annoying. Gets stuck in the near side corner. Hard for anyone to see. Piers Avon Grove comes up with it. I believe that's Ian D'Ambrosio. Back out to the point. Thrown on in. Not a bad idea, but Avon Grove going for a little early line change. So East able to dump it down. They'll change their group too. East, the four, out of the four teams that I'll be watching today, they have... By far the smallest roster, so keep an eye out for very quick shifts. Want to get those fresh legs on the ice. Near corner now. Corey Kosick gets it back. Unable to possess. And Avon Grove will get a clear. Avon Grove resetting here. Tried to play it up to Chandler. That's Brendan Chandler. But it went right off his stick and floated freely. A little loosey-goosey start to this contest. Fantasy hits the ice. A little bump from Kosick there. So a minute and a half in. Not a real chance and maybe one here. But that'll go by the wayside. Ref firm on his call there. Clean all around. Dumping it all the way down is Jaden Young. No reinforcements, however. Sluggish start from both sides. Picked out there by Kaiser. Kaiser in the boards. Back out of the point, Brown. Brown has a shot. But that one stopped. And it looked like danger there from CB East. But Avon Grove able to keep their wits about him. Get an easy clear, here's another opportunity. Kaiser, he takes a spill, no call there. So CB East, the 12 seed in this one, definitely the aggressor up to this point. Patriots tried to reset, maybe a little bit lackadaisical on the clear. Chasing it there is Jack Domboski. Good hustle there to keep it with Avon Grove. Flipped up all the way out. They're gonna say that's a touch. A costly one there from Chris James. Is that a wave icing off? And like I said about East roster size, a big opportunity for them to get a line change. McIntyre plays it in. A little bit sloppy cleaning up from Avon Grove's defense. But it's not going to harm them. That'll go all the way down. We got a hand up for icing. And we will do it again. Or should I say we will face it off for the first time since the opening face off. And it's going to be an attacking zone face off for the Patriots. So, to the point I made in the introduction here, while I'm not a Flyers Cup expert, a 5-12 seed is always a dangerous matchup. CB East through two minutes, 10 seconds. A shot almost got through, kind of snuck in on Mackley. But off the right blocker and harmlessly away. Avant Grove. Looking to get any attack going three and a half minutes in. While well, they don't have shots on goal track for us on the boards here, 
I don't think they'd have one. An opportunity for East. They got a three on one. Holding. Beautiful best backhand and a score! An early goal from Phil McIntyre. Finding the back of the net. A slick little backhand there. Calm, cool, and collected. And wouldn't you know it, the 12 seed dominant three and a half minutes of play to start this. So Avon Grove playing from behind here is the five seed. East trying to pour it on. There's McIntyre playing it out. Looking to do it in a different way here. Already has one point with the goal. Looking to get a second on that slick assist. But it looks like that was Aiden Schmidt, the captain, who floated that one up and over. Face-off win by East here. They'll dump it all the way down. Avon Grobe trying to get possession, trying to get an attacking zone go, uh, excuse me, attacking zone possession going. Once again, nothing doing. East there, East bench wanted a penalty, didn't really see anything, and neither did the stripes. So that'll go all the way down. No icing, however. Picked up there by David Brown. Tried to play it out, but Chris James gets that. Keeper in the blue zone, cutting inside. Avon Grove playing patient, looking for some open ice, firing, or should I say flipping that puck into the corner. Grove will change a couple guys. So nothing doing here for either team. East, they'll just ice it down and get a change. If you're unfamiliar with the rules, certainly one of the more jarring things when I first started calling hockey at this level is on icing, teams can make a change, unlike the NHL, which some viewers may be more familiar with. Twelve oh three to go. The 12 seed CB East getting on the board early. First, it wasn't on goal there. One of the first few shots here from Avon Grove. And maybe another one with a chance to get on net, but Kyle McIntyre on the puck. He's making sure it didn't get thrown. In the slot momentarily, a shot. Oh, just wide, rebound. Unable to possess it. That was Jordan Fabian. Thrown in front. Almost came off the board and in onto Fabian's stick. Which would have been a slick little goal there, but just didn't have enough zip on it. So Avon Grove gets their first real attacking opportunity. And here's another shot save there by Mangia Capre. So Avon Grove maybe shaking the rust off a little bit, and now they do have shots on goal on the board, I guess. <laughs> Somehow CB East had one goal, but no shot on goal previously. So uh, maybe take the shots on goal stats with a grain of salt here, but at least I believe there'll be a good indicator on who's pepper in the net compared to the other. Currently it reads one to one, East and Avon Grove. Big faceoff win there in their defensive zone, but Avon Grove able to keep it in right around the blue line. That was Chris James. Chris James been on the ice for quite some time now. Trying to clear there, now they do. And there is the aforementioned James going back to collect. Good pressure there by Aiden Schmidt, trying to deke Avon Grove into a pass. Big defensive zone turnover here. Let's see if the Patriots can do anything with it. Maybe a bit of a slash there, but a little too light for the ref to get his hand up. And no hand up there for icing either. So we've had the one big goal. Beautiful goal there too. From Phil McIntyre off the backhand one-timer. Not a lot of action since then, or before then, however. Maybe both teams feeling each other out a bit here. First round of the playoffs, a lot of trickle there on net, but no trouble there. He's got, Hen or excuse me, he's got Fennessy here on the left point. 
But it doesn't look like they saw it. Adam Grove will take a break here. Puck, or catch a break, excuse me. Puck stays in, a chance, a shot! It's loose in front! And played out there, heads up defending. And good job protecting the net there by Matt Mangiacapre. Watch the changes on blue. Avon Grove fans not too pleased with the changes of CB East. We'll keep an eye out for that. Seeing if their roster size or lack of bodies could become a factor. It's loose, defense zone turnover here. Holding. Playing a back shot, and that'll just flutter on harmlessly into the belly of Mangia Capre. So, Avon Grove, after a bit of a sluggish start, they've been more in the offensive zone here lately, but not too much open ice. They haven't really had that one rip, and that one one timer that looks like it could give the Patriots some trouble. All the way down the ice. Interesting to see if this will be an icing. Oh! That's an absolute dream if you're CB East. No icing called, perfectly done. Turnover by Schindler. Played in, oh, falling! Who was that? It looks like that was Corey Kosick, and yes, he gets up. I see that was Corey Kosick. That one's gotta hurt, but here they come the other way. You're Avon Grove. Good defense, way to hustle and get back to snuff that run. Now Avon Grove's gotta be careful. A couple of runs now, a two on one. Slap shot, oh, had some zip on it, but went wide right. The shot there came from Tyler Gadown, the assistant captain for the Patriots. Chris James still on the ice, an Iron Man for Avon Grove. Fabian deking left to right. Can't quite see what happened, and it ends up going in the back of the net. My goodness! You don't want to call it luck. You got to give Jordan Fabian all the credit for getting into that spot. But it appears to me like Matt Mangicapre was waiting on the shot. And I believe Fabian kind of got bumped off the puck and it trickled into the net. So an odd sequence here. And just like that, we're tied up at one. Wowee. And as I was alluding to earlier, I mean, still really missing that one time or missing that absolute clean rip on net. But if you have the puck in the attacking zone for long enough, good things will happen. And certainly being displayed there from Avon Grove. So score the goal for Jordan Fabian. Fun to see his reaction there. Don't think he was expecting it to go in as there was a nice little opportunity there for Ian D'Ambrosio. A better defense from the Patriots. Fabian didn't, don't think he was expecting it to go in. He saw the jubilation in that celebration. So now East trying to collect themselves. Wild shot, not a bad play, however. Gave Mackley a little bit of trouble, but no bother. Long pass, somehow misses everyone's stick. They're gonna wave off icing. Keep the game moving here early on. Seven and a half to go in period number one. Almost 10 minutes in here. Haven't seen a lot of action, but we have seen two goals. One, one. A turnover here, now an opportunity shot. Wide right again by Kosick, good shot. Ooh, took an odd hop. We do have some relatively clean ice, but that was taking some hops coming in. Good concentration by Mackley, but he's got to be careful with that rebound control. So East really doing a good job. Dangerous clear there. But he's doing a good job of clearing and dumping while simultaneously avoiding icing. Here's Kosick. He's been everywhere in the offensive zone and almost on cue. Beautiful backhand, no look pass into the slot, but no one was home for the Patriots. Taking a little bit of slip right in front as Tyler get down. Trying to go stick to stick, but unsuccessful. There's get down, hustling back, applying the one man four check. It works for a moment. But Avon Grove will play it back. Will Gorman dumping it all the way down, rattling around left to right. 
My apologies for not mentioning this it's earlier, ladies and gentlemen. If there's any confusion, Avon Grove is in the white with a little bit of, I'll call it maroon on the pants, and CB East are in the navy blue and scarlet red. They'll be going left to right, Avon Grove right to left. My apologies for not mentioning that sooner. This one gets thrown all the way down, and Mangia Capre will freeze that one. So, 5.49 to go here in period number one. Both teams wouldn't say this game's being played at breakneck speed at this point in time. Interesting to see if that's where they like it, or if they're getting a little bit comfortable here in the first period, trying out the game pace. Rattling around, great job to keep it in there from Caleb Elatar. But CB East will get it back. Thrown in wildly off the stick of Dembroski. Goes well over. Avon Grove trying to reset. Good play by Kaiser. Shot kind of snuck up on Mackley, but the good play there was just keeping it in, using the physicality. And we got two Kaisers on there, so that was Carter Kaiser you got to give credit to. Two Kaisers on the ice. Wonder if it's brothers, cousins. Might have to find out soon. 4.45 to go here. While CB East had the early goal in this game. Just two shots on goal to show for, according to the scoreboard here at Ice Line. Coming back the other way is Fabian, the goal scorer. He's got a lot of speed. He's holding. He shoots. Another save there. Ain't no angles to come from there. Fabian gets it back. Played out. Bunch of traffic. Don't think I got through. James tries to throw it on. Could be trouble for Avon Grove. Coming back the other way is McIntyre. He takes a shot. It goes behind the netminder, but lucky for him, it was offline. So an uh, odd play there went off of Mackley's glove, then to the five hole, and here they come the other way. They're having a goal, the shot off the blocker. Good rebound control there. Looked like an opportunity for Fabian as he skates to the bench a bit slowly. A play down low, right in the slot there. McIntyre, excuse me, that was Aiden Schmidt. The captain looking to score there. Pace of this game certainly picked up here. D'Ambrosio flips it up. But too fine with the shot. High and wide to the left. And it looked like a good shot there too. Trying to go near side. Dangerous pass, gets through. Beautiful pass there. Shot. And another save there by Mangia Capri. So we've seen a real uptick of pace, intensity, shots, you name it. Winner of this game will be playing Pensbury against Owen J. Roberts. And Pensbury leads it three to two with five minutes left in the second last, last I've heard. And I'll be updating you on the scores of that game. Definitely interest for both parties in this one. Oh, nice job to keep it in. I didn't think there was a chance that Jack Domboski was able to get to that one, but he did. Under three to go here. First period flying along here. Good clean hockey. Could be a dangerous neutral zone turnover, but good communication there from Chris James and Lucas Genna. So they'll go all the way down for the Patriots. They'll reset. Avon Grove able to get fresh legs. Kept in, puck bouncing around, had to be kicked to kept in, and well, not for long. So credit there. Looks like that was Owen Finesse. Looks like he had the cavalry coming in on him from the Patriots. And was calm, cool, and collected. No defensive zone turnover. Ooh, right idea on the pass. But that is a textbook icing call. So, 2.08 to go here. 1-1 one, one score, scoreboard reads eight shots on goal for Avon Grove, three shots on goal for CB East. Would love to say it's a beautiful day out, but however, you know, you get these ice rinks. <laughs> 
Not so beautiful. But hey, it's always a beautiful day when we got the Flyers Cup here. And I want to thank you again for joining us. If you're just joining us, 1-1. Goal scored so far by Phil McIntyre on CB East and Jordan Fabian on Avon Grove. Elitar, the captain, tried to play it out. Oh, the huge hit from Elitar! Ho oh, ho! Sent sticks flying and put CB East, or excuse me, stop CB East right in their tracks. Woo wee! Now, this is my only game I've called so far, but you gotta give Caleb Elitar the hit of the tournament so far. Beautifully done. And you know, while I'm giving Caleb Elitar all the much deserved credit, Got to look at Gavin Widmers. You know, the old cliche, especially from the Philly area, this is the Flyers' Cup. It's not about how hard you hit, but how hard, how hard you get hit and get back up. Gavin Widmer just got right back up, picked up a stick, and he's back to business. And there is Widmer getting involved any way he can. Credit to both guys here. Speaking of credit there, the CB East defense has really done a tremendous job of Bend, don't break. Avon Grove has had a lot of time on attack since about, let's say, the 14-minute mark of this first period. And the only goal Avon Grove was able to score was an awkward one, to say the least, an understatement. So CB East here, really impressive, coming into this one as a 12 seed. McIntyre wants another one. Good shot there, better save by Mackley. McIntyre holding, waiting for reinforcements, content to dump it down. Right on net. But Mackley sticks that away. Not too much harm. There's McIntyre again. Been a real bright spot here today for the Patriots. It was triple teamed there. Avon Grove fans wanted them to push that. They tried there, but to no avail. Six seconds here, maybe one last shot. There is a good shot. Heads up play there by Mackley. So three seconds left, maybe a shot off the face off. And that's probably it in terms of the first period. So three seconds left, maybe a shot on the face off. Here it comes, the rip off a get off a, excuse me, off a stick. Mackley never saw it, but lucky for him, the stick got in the way and knocked that one out of play. So an interesting first period here. Both teams trading goals, started off a bit sluggish, and since then, teams have really picked it up a notch. One one's the score, this is Josh Safran here with Sports Fan Base Network calling all this Flyers Cup action for the rest of the day. I'll step aside and we'll be right back for period number two. Hey Flyers fans, baseball's right around the corner. Your Trenton Thunder begin their jam-packed schedule with an opening night celebration on June 7th. Meet Kate Flannery from The Office, grab a bat dog dash bobblehead, and celebrate 4th of July at the Thunder. Daily specials return with dollar hot dogs and kids eat free Tuesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Cases Pork Roll Fridays, and Fryworks most Thursdays and Saturdays. There's something going on at every game in 2022. Get your tickets at TrentonThunder.com. Hi, I'm Marty Bystrom, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. In my experience in Major League Baseball, I know how important it is for high school athletes to gain exposure. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the Sports Fan Base Network. If you are a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAYEASY.
Welcome back on in, hockey fans. 1-1's the score. Avon Grove goal from Jordan Fabian and a goal from Phil McIntyre for the CB East Patriots. Face-off win here, great play off the boards. The Kosick, Kosick takes a shot. <laughs> and I was a bit confused at first because I saw no puck in the back of the net and a couple, a couple guys started jumping up for CB East on the bench. But indeed, Mackley did stop and freeze. Apologies for the pause there. <laughs> so 10 seconds in, CB East coming out hot. Can't capitalize on the momentum. Avon Grove face off win. Nice pass all the way up. Oh, took an odd bounce. Didn't look like the defense saw that initially, but good freeze there. So I have no updates from the Pensbury Owen J. Roberts game. The winner of this game will be playing the winner of Pensbury Owen J. Roberts. Last report was 3-2 to two Pensbury. Thrown in. Not a bad idea by Akana. Usually you got a stick or two or a body to shield the netminder. And you never know. That'll find its way in the back. But no one in front. And an easy save there. Keeping it in here. Can't quite make out who that is. I believe that's crossing. And it is. It is crossing. Great physicality there from CB East. Maybe a little payback from earlier's Ella Tar hit. Cutting inside, shielding, floating up. Excellent concentration from Mackley. So CB East have been coming in hot. And we got a whistle here, I missed something. I believe maybe an offsides. Thought maybe I missed a penalty or something based on her gro groan or two. But no, we got five on five hockey. All good. And I guess we're gonna say that was an offside. Coming back the other way here at Schmidt. Schmidt trying to shield his defender there. It looks like unsuccessfully. Puck flips up, hits the netting, and we should get a face off, and we do. And a big update regarding the Owen J. Roberts Pensbury game. I believe since that last update, Pensbury has rattled off three goals. Owen J. Roberts did grab one, but it's currently 6 3. Pensbury leads. It's a shot. It gets on net, but no trouble there for Mackley. He's kind of throwing everything now at Justin Mackley. No bother for him. Both teams getting shifts and notice if you can. CBEs when they make their shifts may, might not be going with a platoon swap that Avon Grove uses. East leaving their two defenders out there like I mentioned. East a bit smaller of a roster than some of these other teams here in the Flyers Cup. So a lot more strategy having to be implemented by the coaching staff. When to take guys off, how quickly. Big play there. Might have been able to get him for an offside, but they're not calling it. Holding. Ooh, good shot, just too high. Good clear by East. Could have been trouble if Charlie Kaiser could possess. But Avon Grove was able to just shield for a moment. Now East able to get it. Coming down here, left side. Better defense, however, there from Connor Crimes. Throwing out in front, kind of awkward play. But it's been a mostly awkward play. It's Justin Mackley getting used to it. Just scooping up anything that comes in his direction. Aside from a beautiful one-timer backhand at the start of this game. Since then, Mackley has been perfect. Big defensive zone win there from Avon Grove. Let's see if they can build on the momentum they started getting in the first. Not a good start. Coming back the other way is Kosick. Kosick finds, couldn't quite make it out. I believe that was Bogdan Borodenko, excuse me, in the slot, but he had it picked away. Played up, ambitious pass. 
unsuccessful of Rising is waved off. Clear unsuccessful there from East. And now Avon Grove looks to set up an offense, but a slap shot goes off an East defender and was almost trouble. Good pass there, finding the cutting attacker. But East was there all over at cutting that pass out. Awkward play there. But East will dodge a couple bullets hard into the ice. Both guys go fighting for possession. Avon Grove finally clean look. Holding near the blue line, dumped in. Two guys there, Pepe ends up with it. He'll pull it out. Holding, blocked. Good block there, great positioning. Avon Grove has it. That's Pepe out to Demboski. Looked to play it back for a moment, but had his angle cut off. Good idea from Avon Grove. Puck's just stuck in the corner for so long. But now an opportunity for Kosick. He puts the move on. It's loose. It's still loose. Mackley lays down. I'm waiting on a signal. And wowee. So they're going to say Mackley did end up freezing and he just laid on his back. I couldn't make out where the puck was. But a bit of a wild sequence there, end to end. 12.48 to go here in the second period. Pretty even game here from the 12 and five seeds. A little ACDC here at Iceline. ACDC is just the perfect hockey music. At least my two cents. Maybe more on that later, we're back in action. Risky pass there, and that's a troubling one if you're Avon Grove. It looked like a bit of a elementary clear. Might have caught a teammate's skate, went back to Justin Mackley, and they'll have another defensive zone faceoff. A little over 12 and a half here in the second period. Off a few sticks, pinballing. But unable to corral, it was Aiden Schmidt. Goes into the far corner. Coming back the other way, some solid passing from Avon Grove. Not such solid possession, but good recovery. Thrown in by James. But ultimately nothing doing. Mangia Capri whisks that one away. It's loose in the slot, one timer shot, save! Loose, still bouncing around, still loose. And now East will clear, they're content to ice it. And the few supporters who made the trip from the Doylestown area give their support for Mangia Capri and much deserved support. Honestly, I think the real, the first real one-timer we've seen of this game from the five seed, East has had, well, maybe a little less time and on attack. I'd wager to say East has had some of the better chances up to this point in the game. So far the best chance for Avon Grove stopped by Matt Mangia Capri. Good hustle. Oh man. Phil McIntyre has been a thorn in the side of Avon Grove today. Looking to do it again there. Great hustle. His teammate lost the face off, but he was all over that. Got a stick on it, but it ended up going out of play. So, to my point earlier about the substitutions, East once again making a two-guy substitution here. Avon Grove maybe more of a luxury of swapping out five guys at a time, having total fresh legs on the ice. Let's see how that face-off goes. Big win for Avon Grove, maybe another opportunity in the attacking zone. Out to El Atar, El Capitan wanted to throw it in, but that's just good positioning there from Christian Asimak. Excuse me. Asi Makopoulos, my, my apologies. It's the Greek ones that get you. Cutting in a shot, it's loose. A little kind of like a baseball shot attempt there from Owen Fennessy, still live. A shot and a score! Brendan Chandler 
off the rebound. Great control from Avon Grove. They find Brendan Chandler cutting into the slot area. Calm, cool, and collected, staring down the barrel of the gun and slots it into the right-hand corner. So a 2-0 run from Avon Grove after the five seed looked to be in a bit of trouble to start this game. Maybe a bit of normalcy restored for the five seed here to start the Flyers' Cup. But we have a ton of hockey left, especially the way East has been playing. But watch out, the shots, the chances have started to become more crisp. Maybe a breakaway opportunity. Beautiful pass, holding, front end. Are you kidding me? Justin Mackley, full butterfly, full sprawl. The right hand glove, a little bit of a prayer there. I don't want to give it a prayer. I don't want to call it a prayer because I feel like I'm taking credit away from Justin Mackley by calling that a prayer. That's all anticipation there. Beautiful save from Mackley to keep his team in front. Kosick takes a bit of a spill there. And a chance for Avon Grove to work their way back. Oh, beautiful pass. One man to beat. Holding. Oh, look at that. Couple good plays by the goalies. Mangia Capri there made that one look easy. And I'm closer here to the Avon Grove fan section. A collective groan from all of them. As it all it happened so fast, you're waiting for that pass, you're waiting for the shot. Next thing you know, Mangia Capri just kind of scooped it up. East, ooh, almost played it out. And they're going to call a high stick there. I don't believe a high stick penalty. Love that rule here. A little high, playing the puck too high. They don't call it a penalty, but they do want to avoid, uh, excuse me, sticks flying around in the air. So it kind of just works as an icing. Keeps the game moving, keeps it at even strength. Tries to keep everyone healthy. Face off win, nice tie up there by East. My apologies there, I believe that was Kosick. who tried to keep in the attacking zone for as long as possible. And he was a one-man band there, can only go so for long. East gotta be careful. Got a guy in the slot there for Avon Grove, but unable to find him was Dominic Tercy. Akana keeps it in. Thrown wildly. <laughs> a little bit of chirping there from the Avon Grove supporters. Nothing. Nothing egregious, just a little friendly. Whoa, you shot that into our bench, huh? All part of the game. And it's only the first round now, but just wait until we get deeper into this tournament. Some packed ranks. Decent showing from Avon Grove. So 2-1 is your score. Avon Grove. Working on the momentum they built late in the second period. But CB East, they haven't been completely shut down or shut out. They've had their share of chances as well. Good goalie play by Justin Mackley. Stopped a couple goals. CB East now looking to work their ways back. Just not too much open ice to skate. Awkward play. Looked like it snuck up on Mackley, but it goes behind the net. Picked away there. But given right back, a chance for East here in the corner, trying to play it in the slot. Maybe miscommunication there. Excellent hustle here from David Brown to keep that in for the Patriots. Once again, David Brown keeps it in. And there is McIntyre, really been the star player today for the Patriots. Good shot there. Better positioning from Demboski. Nine minutes to go in period number two. Kept it again by David Brown. That's three times on this time on attack. David Brown has kept it. Can he make it four? No, that time. Chandler, that's Brian Chandler. Turn around. Tired of seeing David Brown keep it in the zone. Now it's Alex McIntyre's turn to keep it in. This has got to be careful now. Nice move there from Chandler. And we have a couple of bodies colliding. And the face-off, no penalty there. Don't want to jinx anything, but 
We're at the, we're at just about exactly the halfway point in this game. Zero penalties for either side. Well, maybe that doesn't work for the excitement in the game. I mean, a five on four is always exciting. It's nice to see clean hockey. Behind the net. Head up there. Not a bad idea, but better, better defense there from Kyle McIntyre. Got a lot of fun. Oh, we got a, we got a penalty, or is that an icing? It is an icing. My apologies. The ref put his hand up so aggressively there that I thought maybe we were going to get our first, but no. Just a penalty. It's fun. It's fun calling these high school games as you get a lot of these guys with the same last names. Can't be much better than playing playoff hockey with a sibling. Special moment here. And I'm just, by the way, I'm just assuming they're siblings. I gotta be honest with you. Just over eight minutes left here in period number two. Five versus 12 seed in this game. CB East, Avon Grove East, and Navy Blue and Scarlet. They're going right to left if you're just joining us. Avon Grove in the white and maroon with yellow stripes going left to right. An opportunity here. Kept in. Played back to Akana. He likes what he sees. But better defense there from Kyle McIntyre. East having a bit more trouble getting the puck out of their own zone this possession. Not sure if Avon Grove ramped up their four check or maybe East get a little sloppy. But it's puck control, in my opinion, is where you can really see the difference between a team's talent, and maybe that's where the 5 versus 12 will become a factor. Patient play here from Avon Grove. A fire wrist shot all the way from the blue line. That one goes wild. Kept in there with the hand. The Ambrosio holding, plays it back. Beautiful pass, shot, goes wide left. And he actually beat the goalie there. But shot going well wide. Could have been a costly turnover there to Brendan Chandler. But not able to get proper zip on the puck. Kana throws it in, had no one there. And East looks like they just want to get an icing and get some fresh legs on the ice. So. A well-deserved ovation from the fans from Avon Grove right now as they are seeing their team play up the snuff. Putting the pressure on, forcing an icing. Always a positive when you are forcing the other team to just, to just accept a defensive zone face-off. So he's desperate to get those fresh legs on the ice. They do, and watch out for this. Two on one, Kosick holding, firing, flush that leather, Justin Mackley. Not sure if you heard it, but Avon Grove supporter just shouted, that's what we like to see, and that is what we like to see. Avon Grove fans and a neutral fan, a neutral play-by-play -play guy like myself, loves to see that. And apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I was over here loving that save there. We got our first power play of the game. So I didn't quite catch the call. But nonetheless, it's Corey Kosick. Don't want to speculate on that. And it's a slashing call. Thank you over the loudspeaker. So Avon Grove, their first opportunity on the power play. Let's see what they can do with it. Locked there, way to sacrifice the body. David Brown, been doing a tremendous job of doing all those little things today. Another opportunity now, good job to recover from Avon Grove into the slot. But there's that guy, David Brown again, snuffing that play out. Minute and a half to go on the power play. Elitar. Went outside there, couldn't get it back inside. Kept in, East playing very physical on this penalty kill, and so far working to their advantage, but cross it, some wide open ice, it's loose, still loose. 
A shot! Oh, that goes off a body. Crazy sequence here. Just tons of bodies in front of net. Finally, they reset. Good idea on the pass. Well, that was snuffed out there by Tyler Cadown. Give credit to CB East. Really, honestly, credit to both sides. Pass all the way up to the blue line there to Crossen. And like I was saying, give credit to CB East there. They did allow one very clean shot to get through, but saved by Mangia Capri. Almost a shorthanded opportunity here, but Mackley will freeze it. 27 seconds left on the power play for Avon Grove. They've been playing it right, getting that open ice to skate on, and a couple chances. But CB East just not doing anything too crazy, not overthinking it, just converging on the net, throwing a bunch of bodies on there and doing their best to not allow free ice to shoot through. 15 seconds on the power play, a dump. Let's see how they play it. Trapped in the corner, this will work to East advantage. Only six seconds left. And that's good puck control, however. Had to be careful, that'll end the power play. So that was a tale of two minutes there. Two, or two separate individual minutes. First half of that power play. All Avon Grove, but after that major chance, East seemed like they settled in and was, did a great job of denying. A little bit of a trip here. No hands up. Puck's still loose. He goes behind the net now. Played out in front. That was the right pass. But I'm not sure Avon Grove saw it. Big defensive zone turnover. Thrown in front, there was two guys there. Maybe a bit of miscommunication, same team. Was the first real chance there for East in quite a while. Now come back the other way, going through. They call that a nutmeg in soccer, going through the legs of the East defender. Kind of snuck up on Mangia Capri. Oh man, what a hit from Carter Kaiser. Way to establish some physicality after Avon Grove has started to become more, excuse me, more in control. Sometimes, if you haven't had a lot of time on attack, you gotta remind Avon Grove, hey, this ice ain't free to skate on as it goes off a body off the rebound. Mackley, great job to save it, but the rebound control almost ended up right back in the net. Still in the zone here. East got to take advantage of this possession. They haven't had too much time on attack in the second period and on cue, they'll lose the puck and lose the blue line. Should be an icing and it will be. So another opportunity upcoming for the Patriots. Two and a half left in the second period. Great game so far. Evan Grove starting to feel like they're in more of a control but just look at that scoreboard ladies and gents. Just a one goal game. And like we saw, like Jordan Fabian's first goal for Avon Grove doesn't always have to be the prettiest of shots. And I don't want to take credit away from Jordan Fabian. It was a pretty move. Awkward, uh, excuse me, I almost said ball. Awkward puck trickling in there, but it won't find any net miner. A little bit over two minutes left here in the second period. Ivan Grove needs to spread out a little bit and that'll be a trip. Not too many qualms. Very rare you see a player in any sport come in a foul, come in a penalty, do something wrong and not have any qualms with it. <laughs> that time, no complaints from Bogdan Borodenko as he'll spend two minutes in the sin bin for a tripping. So two minutes, eight seconds left in the second period, barring a goal. The rest of this period will be played out. A man advantage for Avon Grove. Elatar, he liked what he saw. It was a nice pass. I'm not sure Fabian was ready for it. 
And a beautiful clear from the Patriots. So Avon Grove will have to reset. No changes being made to the line. A little dangerous, but Pepe, good with a stick. Not that great with the pass over that time. Already 40 seconds down from this power play. Aiden Schmidt, one man forecheck there, but he's got to get back. Played behind, but no one there. Now it's open space for Cross, and Cross and plays it into the slot. But maybe just doing a little bit too much. Cross might have been better off ripping one himself. Just trapped in the corner here. Scrum for it. Can't make out the lone East player. And what do you know, it's David Brown. Once again, doing the dirty work that goes such a long way in deciding games. Brown just trapping that puck, wasting precious seconds from this power play. And they're going to waste more precious seconds. CB East kind of swinging a little momentum here from this penalty kill so far. But still, 25 seconds left for Avon Grove to make another dent. But now a short-handed opportunity briefly. But briefly indeed that was. Brown again. Nice clear. East coach begging for a line change. 10 seconds on the power play. Three seconds and the power play will end. A brilliant penalty kill there by CB East. Five seconds left now. And this should end the second period. So, at the end of two periods, Avon Grove with a very slim advantage. Two to one. Advantage comes off the stick of Brian Chandler, who scored the second period goal to break the tie. Two one. Avon Grove with the lead. We're going to step aside now as both teams make their way to the locker room. And we get the Zamboni to cut the ice between the second and third period. We'll step aside for 10 or so minutes. And we'll be right back here with the third period between Avon Grove and CB East. Haddon Planning Group is an independent financial advisory firm serving all Flyers fans across the country. Located in Pennsylvania since 1981, we will offer a free financial plan to all parents of student-athletes participating in the Flyers Cup. For more information about our services, go to HaddonPlanning.com or call Jake Reardon at 856-428-5300. Your surprisingly great rates? Contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Eldion Pagulary in Feasterville, Travost today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey, Flyers fans, baseball's right around the corner. Your Trenton Thunder begin their jam-packed schedule with an opening night celebration on June 7th. Meet Kate Flannery from the office, grab a bat dog dash bobblehead, and celebrate 4th of July at the Thunder. Daily specials return with dollar hot dogs and kids eat free Tuesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Cases Pork Roll Fridays, and Fryworks most Thursdays and Saturdays. There's something going on at every game in 2022. Get your tickets at TrentonThunder.com. Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you're a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAY-EASY.
Welcome back on in final period here in Westchester between Avon Grove and CB East. Avon Grove there in the white going left to right. CB East in the navy blue and red. They're going right. Excuse me. It's Avon Grove going right to left and here they come. D'Ambrosio maybe a break, a shot. Good idea going far side but a little too fine with the shot. So that was Ian D'Ambrosio for Avon Grove. They're up two to one in this game. In the slot, but tripped up and unable to get a shot. Good forecheck to start the period from Ivan Grove in front loose, but he's able to get it and clear it all the way down to the ice. And we will get an ice. Big defensive zone faceoff win there for CB East. Unable to get it out of their own zone. Crimes. Shot that didn't really give any trouble to Mangia Capri. So they'll freeze and do it again from their own zone. Sixteen oh four to go here. Looks like Maggie Capri having a bit of trouble with the skate here. They're relacing them. So we'll break in the action. Looking around the Flyers Cup, the winner of this matchup will play the winner of Pensbury against Owen J. Roberts. And it's looking, last I heard, like it's going to be Pensbury coming out of that game. They were up 7-3 with six minutes left, last I heard. However, that was 12 minutes ago. So, barring anything unforeseen, looks like the winner of this game will be playing Pensbury. Reed set the game in the time being. Well... <laughs> the, goal, the goalie gets his skate relaced. And now I'm not too familiar with uh, hockey and equipment, but I've called a few hockey games in my time here. Never have I seen this. That's the beauty of sports, though. You know, everything about sports, it may seem pretty same, might seem rudimentary. You can get an idea of how the game is going to go. Usually they say it about baseball, you can go to the baseball game and see something new every time. Well, you can go to any sporting event, you see something new every time. But we're set to go. Evan Grove, like I was saying, leading it 2-1. to one. East got the first goal of the game, but it's been two goals from Evan Grove. They've been in control of this game, but as I was saying earlier in the second period, like that little run from Kosick, all it takes is one mistake in the defensive zone, one big play, and we got a tie game. For the time being, or could be a tie game, excuse me, it is two to one. I was just saying, all it takes is one mistake from Avon Grove, one break from East. Because it certainly feels bigger than a 2-1 lead from Avon Grove. You gotta be careful. Don't want to lull yourselves to sleep here. Trouble playing out of his own zone from Nicholas Young. Avon Grove taking advantage of that. Near boards, hard to tell. Played out to Fennessy though. Fennessy, good idea on the shot. Nice little flash there from Matt Mangia Capri. However, that one wasn't going to be on net anyway. Would have been a costly turnover there. That'll go all the way around. Ooh, oh, almost a dangerous miscommunication. And Justin Mackley is forced into an odd freeze here. 
So a break for the East Patriots. They'll have an opportunity to knot this up early on in the third period. There's been few and far between. Got to take advantage of this. It looks like that's Jaden Young on the faceoff, but unable to win it. Ambitious from Caleb Elatar. He smacks the boards in frustration. They had a breakaway there, but the ambitious pass, a little too much zip on it from Caleb Elatar. Now their defensive zone faceoff from Avon Grove. They've been doing a fantastic job of not allowing East to really get back in this game or get into a flow on the attacking zone. Nice hustle here from Gavin Windmer. He goes into the boards, however. And Avon Grove, a little two-on-two -two action. Pulling it back, backhand to forehand there from Nathan Crossan. He lost it, but gets it back. East, working their way back now. Good play there by Widmer. Widmer holding, firing off Mackley. Still loose, but into the corner. So maybe like I was saying, the top of this broadcast, East, a little bit of a smaller bench. And they weren't, only one can wonder what that play would have looked like if they had more reinforcements on Gavin Widmer's play. Shot looked good, maybe rebound opportunity, but it was just Widmer in the attacking zone. Just over 13 and a half. Played it out into the slot, but kicked out of the zone. With time is Kyle McIntyre. He plays it up. Sloppy stick play here, but it's not going to hurt East too bad. They are able to clear the blue line. Avangrove four check. Just been consistently picking up a bit more in each period. We'll see how long they play aggressive for reasons like that. Almost an opportunity shot. And into the glove of Mackley, but right on cue as I was making a comment about Avon Grove. Up a goal here in the third period, still laying on the pressure with the four check. I certainly don't disagree with that. Just a one goal game. You want to get a little bit of separation. But a team like East, who's been really having trouble in the attacking zone since the first period, has another shot. Blocked away by Mackley. Maybe I should stop saying they've struggled since the first. That'll go all the way down to Mangia Capri. 13.08 to go. East, show, excuse me, East showing some signs of life these last couple of possessions. Face off one, barely kept in by Fennessy. Ambrosio just has to wildly play it in. A shot, good idea. I don't think Mangia Capri saw it. A slap shot! Stoned cold by Mangia Capri. And I'm trying to see the jersey number. I'm going to say that was Ian D'Ambrosio who came right through the slot and just gave that puck all his force on the slap shot. However, Maggie Capri, wise move there to jump out of net a little bit and just cover as much of it as he could right into his belly. Under 13 to play here in round one. Winner will be taking on Pensbury in the next round. Behind the net, into the slot. A huge groan from the Avon Grove supporters. You don't get much cleaner ice right in front of net like that. A tough break. Or should I say a tough missed opportunity for Avon Grove as they clear it all the way down for an icing. Now they'll have to do a face off from their defensive end. 2 1 the score, 12 21 left here in round one of the Flyers Cup. Avon Grove, the five seed. Holding a 2-1 advantage, CV East, the 12 seed, trying to hang around. Taking the face off here will be Bogdan Borodenko. Had a tripping call earlier in this one, unable to win that face off. Almost a dangerous turnover here. This will go all the way down for another icing. So a little bit of sloppier play here from Avon Grove. Back-to-back -back icings. Got to be careful not to just 
hand the Patriots some attacking zone faceoffs. Ever so important down one goal. Let's see if Borodenko can get a little vengeance from the previous faceoff, and he does. Mm, there, but good hustle there. That was Chris James. Read the face off, able to get in the way. Adam Grove, nice possession control here. D'Ambrosio fires, went off a man's skate. Not sure which team, might have been some friendly fire. Kosick wants to take the whole team himself. Holding, runs into a fender. D'Ambrosio, nice play. He got some bodies flying, but Adam Grove winds up with it. Two on two opportunity. Oh, great shot, better save by Mangia Capri. Excellent sequence, however, from Chris James. Playing both sides, defense and offense. 30 to 20, the scoreboard reads. Advantage shots on goal for Avon Grove. Two to one. The only scoreboard that matters, excuse me, reads. Two to one, Avon Grove leads it in the goals category. 11.40 left. Going around there was Gorman. He's just trying to play it out now. Gorman again. And the slot is shot! I don't know how he saved it. I don't think Maggie Capri saw it. Credit him for positioning. That's a perfect clear if you're CB East. You avoid icing there. <laughs> I mean, from my vantage point, that was a surefire goal. But Maggie Capri might have caught a stick. A rebound! Good rebound control from Kyle McIntyre. 11 minutes left. Flipped up, nobody home. That might be icing, and it is. So, action intensity picking up a little bit here. We'll see how long Avon Grove wants to stay heavy on the forecheck, however. East hasn't been able to make them pay yet. Avon Grove, I gotta imagine, hoping to get this a two-goal lead and then maybe play a little bit more conservative. Maybe a turnover here, and it is. Not what you want to see if you're the 12-seeded Patriots right now. Fighting for your tournament lives. Still plenty of hockey left. Over 10 minutes. Unsuccessful clearance once again. Hitting the ref, tough break for the CB East Patriots. Maybe finally a clearance opportunity, but that'll be an icing. So you can feel it. Avon Grove has East backs up against the ropes. They've been keeping the pressure on. East's only real avenue for clearances has been the icing variety, and they're not going to win many hockey games like that. Costly turnover, two on one. Played back, good pass. Unable to corral it with Schmidt. Schmidt keeps it momentarily. But a real shot there. And a real chance there from East. Gonna have to go by the wayside. And it's back to the drawing board for the Patriots. Reset. A little bit of like a 3-2 four check here. You got the two defensemen hanging out in the blue line. All three attackers up on the four check. Let's see if he's can make him pay. Schmidt plays it back to McIntyre. McIntyre looking for DeRugaris. Thrown in front. Good stick there by Mackley. That's Brown. Brown trying to keep it as long as he could. Good stick work defensively. Oh, could have been a huge turnover. And it looked like for a moment Avon Grove had a three on two. Good job getting back there from David Brown. Let's see what Avon Grove wants to do if they want to get a change. They change a couple guys, but not everyone. And Mike cost them. Good defense there to get in front. But I might have spoke to shoot shot. Wide to the right. Still in, being kept in by Brown. His teammate comes to help, out to the blue line. Shot, it's loose behind the net! Beautiful stick 
work by Elitar. Elitar might have just saved the goal with his stick. The puck was loose right in the crease, and a stick just comes right out of nowhere, so swiftly and smoothly clearing that puck. That's the captain, Caleb Elitar. He had a huge hit earlier on this game. Nifty play here from Phil McIntyre. Cutting in, backhand, throws it on front, sticks flying. But Justin Mackley was there. We're going to get a hand up and a penalty upcoming. And here comes a penalty. A huge loss for East as it's Phil McIntyre who is going to go to the penalty box. McIntyre, the lone goal scorer for East, and been dazzling all day. McIntyre just being informed he's called for the penalty. Can't believe it. And let's see, waiting to hear what the call was exactly. I saw the hand go up, but didn't quite see the exact call. So a huge blow, not only down a man, or excuse me, down a man at this juncture of the game, down one of your best performers on the day. Good pass there, D'Ambrosio, just not able to corral it. Give credit where credit's due to Tyler Godown. Nice clear from East. We got another penalty. So Avon Grove looking to run away with it here in the third period. A shot, that's off the pipe! And way out of play. Momentum building and frustrations piling for the Patriots. Hope you can hear it, AG, as they're calling him, Avon Grove. Supporters really getting into it. They can taste the matchup against Pensbury. It's going to be Bogdan Borodenko, excuse me, finding the sin bin for a second time today. So five on three hockey for at least the next minute and a half. Seven and a half to go here in the third period. Holding, holding, throwing it out in front of me, gets it off. Oh, they're waving it off. They're waving it off. No goal. Hold your horses, Avon Grove fans. It's still a one goal game. Such a nice play, too. Instead of taking the shot. And I'm trying to see who it was. I think it was Connor Crimes. It was Connor Crimes who made a really nice play holding it instead of taking the shot played it off in the teammate nice and soft but i'm assuming someone was making contact in the goalie's crease and that's a no-no ref was very quick with his decision there was no talking it over he said nope sorry not a goal right away i saw it back in the net got excited But Avon Grove still with a minute. And that find the back of the net. It might have gone barred down, but not barred down and in. That was a very awkward looking play. I thought it went in. But Avon Grove just going to have to keep applying the pressure. A minute two left on the five on three. Just under seven minutes left in regulation here. Big face-off win by the Patriots. Can they clear? They do. One-man band, Steven DeRugaris. Finally getting a clearance for CB East there in a defensive zone win, but well, it doesn't last too long. Avon Grove in no hurry. Ambrosia was winding up there, but thought better of it. Nice stick work there from David Brown. Had Domboski for a moment. They didn't like what they saw. 30 seconds left on five on three. Major chances for Avon Grove. No goal so far. Slick little move there. A shot. Looked like he beat the net miner, but was not on goal. Just 15 seconds on the five on three, and not what you want to see if you're an Avon Grove supporter there. They'll have to reset. Maybe one last rush up two men. And they'll give it away. David Brown. Plays it back to Aiden Schmidt. He can't come up with it. 
20 seconds left on the power play. So the East kill the first. Good job by them. Coming over is Elatar. He gets it taken away. Trying to play it back as East and clear it. 10 seconds on the power play. Holding in the slot. Oh, couldn't get it. And that will end the power play. Wow, CB East killing off a five on three power play and that was a minute 40 seconds of five on three they had to kill off. So the 12 seed trying to get a Cinderella story going here. Avon Grove leaving a couple goals out there on the ice. Will that come back to bite him? Barely kept in the zone. In the slot, shot, oh, somehow doesn't go in. Rolled off the side of the net. Still loose, still with Avon Grove behind the net. And good defensive play there by who else but Phil McIntyre. He's been a real treat to watch today. Trying to, what a slick little move, but maybe doing a little too much there. As it may have been flashy. It may have got on net, but Justin Mackley continuing his good game. He's been lulled to sleep a little bit. He's still sharp. Under five minutes left to play. Winner of this game will be taking on Pensbury in the next round. Avon Grove. Oh, big hit there. It's Tyler Goodown. He's still playing his heart out. And why wouldn't you? Just one goal down as the 12 seed against the 5 seed. Gotta give them everything you got. Four minutes, 20 seconds. Time is of the essence here for CB East. For Avon Grove. And here comes a chance. Corey Kosick holding, firing off the pipe and no good! He threw his arms out. I'm not sure if that was for balance or for celebration, but I can't believe that didn't find the back of the net. Avon Grove catches a massive break as that goes back to what I was saying to start this third period. They got to be careful here with this four check. I understand the logic, and I'd probably do the same myself, but that's exactly what you're afraid of by keeping the aggression on holding a one goal lead, especially when on paper, and the way this game has been played, Avon Grove playing like the five seed in this one. So maybe a learning lesson for Avon Grove, might have to dial back the four check aggression a little, but here's an opportunity for Pepe. A shot, trying to go five hole. Great concentration from Mangia Capri. As that could have gone a long way in terms of sealing this game up. Wouldn't have sealed it up, but doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out a one goal difference and a two goal difference is everything. Appropriately playing, gotta be starting something here at Iceline, and that's what CB East has got to be starting something. Time is just running out, that'll go all the way out of play. I believe that was East who chopped that out, and I know USA Hockey rules typically, if you're the team who hit it out, if the puck goes out of you, that means it's a defensive zone face-off based on where it was at. And yes, indeed. Defensive zone win for East. Saucered all the way up. Is that on net? It is. So a nice play there from East to trade face-off, defensive to attack. As I'm not sure if you can hear it. There is got to be starting something. I'm wondering if whoever's... The soundtrack for this game is a CBE supporter. But if East was going to start anything, it would have started there. A chance of the slide. The puck's loose. Maggie and Capri able to get that one up in the air and off its path towards net. Played up. McIntyre, let's see if he's got any magic left. Anything left in his bag of tricks. Oh, I thought he was going to go around Caleb Elitar and try to jam it in, but Elatar playing the angles, playing the body nicely. 3.03 left. Avon Grove barely holding on to the 2-1 lead. Sh 
Schmidt thought he won the face off initially. Good job to tie up from Avin Grove. Under three. Left to play. And we got a big penalty call. And they're going to get an elbowing. And who's it on? Uh, we know it's on East. If that's Phil McIntyre, that is huge. It is Phil McIntyre. Oh my goodness. McIntyre gets called for a second penalty of this game. And he's been the guy with all the shots from CB East. As it's in front, I can't see what's going on. You got bodies and sticks flying around in front. Ref blows the whistle. I see no signal for a goal, so I'm assuming they'll do it again. So 2.47 left in the game. Minute 54 left in the period. Just 53 seconds separate the power play and the game clock. So for East, your best case scenario is full strength. With 53 seconds left for Evan Grove, your best case scenario is you're up two in the final two minutes. Not a good way to get back in this game for the Patriots, but certainly not all hope is lost. They've done a fantastic job of killing penalties up to this point, not allowing a single power play. Goal! And right as I was saying that, Nathan Crossan had a real chance in the slot, holding behind and looking for a cutting teammate. No one was there, however. Avon Grove content to be extra patient on this power play as time is ever of the essence. Thrown in front, chipped on, but not with a lot of zip or precision. Played out. Good awareness there from Fabian to forget the line change, but oh! So it comes down to Jordan Fabian's positioning there. Two really close chances from CBE. Sweet move from Caleb El Elatar. Now maybe an opportunity for East. 40 seconds on the power play, a minute and a half in the game. Cleared all the way down. East, much needed line change. I believe they got all four guys there. Nice little stick work there from Schmidt. Schmidt trying to fight for it. A minute 20, D'Ambrosio pulls it back. Nice body work there from Steven DeRugaris. One on one, maybe a chance for Schmidt. Schmidt has it on the forehand. But good defense from D'Ambrosio. Played up. No one's back. But not able to possess it. That could have been the end. Could have been the dagger, so to speak. Power play is up. So we have 50 seconds of even strength. Shot. If East can clear the zone, I got to imagine they pull their goalie at this point. I'll have my eye on that for you. But clearing the zone right now, the taller task. A whiff on the shot. It's kept in. Here come the Patriots. Ah, I spoke too soon. And a trip. No hand up, however. Under 30 seconds. Ivan Grove not even allowing East to get an opportunity to pull their goalie. And here it is. The goalie's out. Crossing blue lines. McIntyre. McIntyre has it. He shoots. Blocker save. A kick save. Great rebound control as Phil McIntyre punches the glass. McIntyre's got to save that hand. Still has 15 seconds left. And as expected, we'll get a timeout. So some frustration being shown from McIntyre. He knew that was his real chance. Maybe letting out some frustration from that previous penalty too. So 15 seconds. Gotta imagine East is drawing up. As you see the board comes out there, East is drawing up a nice face-off play, but if you're having Grove, the message has to be, hey, just tie him up. Tie him up, waste the clock, and just push forward. All you gotta do if you're having Grove, it, it really comes down to this one face-off, and what's better than this? Flyers Cup action, 12 seed CB East, they've been kept quiet since the first period. But if you hang around and you fight, you'll get a chance in the final 15 seconds
to keep the Flyers Cup dream alive. And that's exactly the opportunity that the Patriots have right now with 15 seconds left. The referees have blown their whistles. We're just about set for what I will assume, or I presume to be, the final little sequence here in this game, the penultimate game here from Ice Line Rink 1. Winner of this game will be facing off against Pensbury. Pensbury had a commanding win today against Owen J. Roberts. So here we go. They're sending out Aiden Schmidt, the captain. And I believe that's Jacob Schindler. Or excuse me, it's Fabian. East wins it. One last chance. Shot. Blocked by a couple bodies. Eight seconds left. One clear and it's over. And they're going to get an icing. <laughs> Fabian was hustling all he could to put this game to bed. But CB East will have one final shot. Four and a half seconds. I would have thought that if they lost the faceoff, that would have been it. So Fabian versus Schmidt. One last chance. Schmidt looking for redemption. Good tie up. It's loose. It's free. And that'll end it. So the five seed, Avon Grove, stands tough. Maybe not the prettiest of wins but you'll take it any way you come once you get to the postseason. Avon Grove, a gutsy performance. Goals from Fabian and Chandler today on the Avon Grove side. And you gotta give them credit. While it might have not have been exactly what they drew up as the five seed, they get it done and they've got a date with Pensbury here in the next round. So after all that, this is what we love about hockey, the handshaking, the good game after all that. And it's Avon Grove moving on. Avon Grove wins it 2-1. Like I said, they'll be facing Pensbury the next round. And this is going to conclude our coverage of Avon Grove versus CB East. Stick right with us. We got more action coming up. But for now, this is Josh Saffron with the Sports Fan Base Network and the Flyers Cup signing off.